Hi everyone, um, my name is Martin Bell, um, I'm an astrophysicist here at UTS. Um, just for a bit of a laugh, um, as Valentine's Day is coming up, I thought I'd take a look at dating apps and some of the maths behind them. And um, I was kind of interested in this because um, it's a kind of big area of mathematics called optimization and game theory, which is kind of playing out underneath the hood of these apps. Um, so I had a little bit of a bash at writing a simulation and uh, trying to understand what your best chance is of meeting someone on these apps and how you sort of optimize that process. Now, before I do that, um, some really basic kind of maths is to think about how many people might be available on these apps. Um, so I came up with a few numbers that we'll just have a quick look at. Um, so I think if you ask yourself the question, how many people in my age bracket um, and within a certain sort of geographical region are available, you might be surprised at the number. The number I came up with um, was that there were probably around 5,000 people um, within a demographic around, in, in my bracket, say between 35 to 40, a bit older, um, within the Sydney region. Now this might change um, as you go to different places. Now the really cool number that I thought about was um, thinking about your swipe ratio. How many people do you swipe on per day? Now if that swipe ratio S was equal to 50, we could think about how quickly we'd run out of people on one of these apps. So the amount of time that you'd spend on this app would be 5,000 divided by 50, which would give you around 100 days. So that's if you swipe 50 people per day, um, and there's a total of 5,000 people on the app. So 100 days, or about three months, which actually isn't that large amount of time uh, to, before you actually run out of people. Um, and I came up with a slight optimization for this, a, a sort of optimal parameter, um, to work out how many dates you should go on a week and how many swipes you should make per day. I also wrote a simulation, uh, which I'm gonna show you in a second, about um, uh, trying to simulate sort of five to 10,000 people and how they might interact on this app. Let's have a look at the optimization first. <clears throat> um, I think most people can only go on a certain number of dates per week, and it's important to think about how often you swipe, how often you interact with people to give you the right amount of dates per week, because that's your kind of optimal amount of, um, of, of people that you want to swipe on. And so I came up with this equation, which is, um, we'll do this per week. It's the number of swipes you make per day. Okay, let's times that by seven per day. Okay, let's times that by seven. And what we want this to be equal to, so with swipes per day times seven on this, is the number of dates per week we'd really like to go on. Okay, so dates per week. Okay, and we want swipes, the number of swipes you make, and I'm gonna, put these terms in here, which is your swipe right ratio. So we're gonna divide the total number of swipes you make by your swipe right ratio, which is the number of times you actually choose to like someone. And we're gonna divide that as well by uh, the match ratio. That's the amount of people that like you back. And then of those people that you match with, the number of people you wanna go on a date with. Okay. Now that looks pretty horrendous, let's put some numbers in here. Let's say you make 50 swipes a day over seven days. That's equal to 350. I'll write some quick pen. 350, okay, divided by say you swipe right on one in 10, um, and say you match with one in five of those, um, and you go on dates with maybe one in 10 of those. That will give you about 0.7 dates per week, okay, which is obviously not enough dates, it's not a whole number. But that's just playing around with some numbers to, to, um, to think about how often you wanna go on a date. And I think when you're swiping on one of these apps, just count how many times you go right to how many times you go left, and then in a given week count up um, uh, how many matches you make and how many of those translate into dates. Um, and then you can really sort of work out how long you might stay on one of these apps for. All right, moving on, let's have a look at the simulation. Um, so I had a bit of fun with this, writing this very basic um, simulation, um, and I had this, um, had this idea of creating 5,000 fake people that had three different attributes. One of them was attractiveness, um, one of them was deal breakers, and the third one was chemistry. And what I did was um, I, I put these all into a big sort of um, loop and said um, a person comes along and can swipe on these random people if they pick 50, 100 people at random each day, and um, you look at these properties. So are they attractive? Um, do they have any deal breakers that I like or don't like? And the chemistry one was interesting because I made um, the, the idea of you having chemistry with, with a potential match exceptionally rare. Um, and I kind of 
threw this into a simulation to see to see what happened. Um, and it looked something like this. So I'll show you a quick example down here. I'm just going to run this, um, run this through, and show you some of these plots. Okay, I take my random person here and I, I sort of throw them through this simulation, and um, they spend uh, on the bottom axis here. I've got about uh, the, the number of days they spend on the app, which is about 90. This is the number of matches that they got per day, and this is the total number here. So they get you know x number of matches. They end up with about 250 matches after their sort of 90 days on the app. And on the right hand side, I've got the number of sort of dates that they um, number of dates that they sort of went on per day, which was quite a lot actually. But um, you know maybe it'd be a bit less than this before they found love. And um, so I can sort of randomly simulate a person um, going through this and, and working out how long it takes them to, to find someone on this app. And that was the key question I wanted to, to ask was, what does the average, what, what length of time does the average person spend on this app? And if I run this again, it's not always certain. Um, it's not always certain that someone will find someone. If you look at this example here, I put this cross here because they, they start swiping and they get some matches and they go on some dates. Um, and actually what you find here is that after 120 odd days, the person actually doesn't meet anyone and actually runs out of people on the app. Um, which is obviously not a good scenario, but those are the sort of numbers that we're working with. You just simply run out of people after about three months. Okay, so I went one step further than this. Last thing I did was, that's one person uh, sort of running through my simulation, but I took a couple of thousand people and ran through the simulation, um, and that's called a Monte Carlo sim sort of simulation, and allows me to see on average how people do, like how a larger spread of people go through this, this app. And I'll show you the results here. So, um, on the left hand side here, what I've got is the number of days those people spent on the app um, and the number of uh, people that found love after a certain number of days. Um, and I've done this for two scenarios. One is 50 swipes per day and the other one is 100 swipes per day. So swiping on 100 people per day, uh, whether you go left or right. Okay. And um, what we find is that after 100 days on the 50 swipes per day, there's a big drop off. And that's simply when you run out of people on the app. Um, in the simulation, I add five more people in each day, but obviously it sort of stops to a trickle after you run through these first 5,000 uh, people on the app, which is my guess of how many people there might be available. Um, and the other sort of quick trick you could do is just swipe more people, but you still, a lot of people find love within the first, uh, in this case, 50 days, but you still hit this, um, you still hit this, uh, this issue of running out of people. So my idea was to check what would happen if you deleted your profile, um, which most people I think are, uh, are, are quite familiar with the idea of sort of starting again. Um, and this is the bottom, uh, the bottom profiles here. You see that in these cases, um, the general profile drops down um, after a certain amount of time. Um, but we don't hit this edge where we run out of people. We simply, after the 100 days, start again, either on jump onto a different app or reinstall the app, um, and, uh, and you have a higher chance of, of, of finding someone um, after those initial 100 days. What's kind of interesting as well is that um, it's kind of quite probable that you'll meet someone quite early on in these apps and less likely as you go forward. And that was something I coded into the simulation that. Um, um, after a certain amount of time, people are likely to be less responsive and um, less likely to chat back to you. Um, and, and that sort of comes out in these simulations. Uh, it's kind of interesting to think that <laughs> your first week is kind of going to be really important and, uh, and you should pay attention. Okay, so I guess my three, um, three main tips for, for how to optimize your chances in dating apps. First one is slow down. Um, if you swipe a thousand people in a day, you've got to chat to them and potentially go on dates. And if you can only afford to go on two dates per week, um, then you're going to have to prioritize some of those people. And I think if you didn't chat to some of those people or you know um, respond within a couple of weeks, uh, they're not going to be so keen to to reciprocate. So you need to optimize and slow down how how often um, you're chatting to someone and how often you're willing to to go on a date um, and have a think about the numbers that I presented to to work out what what that number might be. So number two is to um, as soon as you run out of people on the app is to jump onto a different platform or app or restart the same app, um, and that's because. Um, the number of people joining per day is much, much lower than the original pool of people you, you had to search on there. I think most people understand that, it's quite obvious. Um, my third tip actually was, 
everyone's going to get a second pass to look at your profile again now that you've recreated or you've jumped on to look at another set of people. Try a different strategy, uh, change your profile picture, maybe change your bio, and just update everything because what you might have thought was um, your best photo that you put forward before um, might appeal to someone different on the second pass through. Um, take your time again on that round um, and uh, try and optimize your chances of meeting people going on dates. And I suppose my fourth piece of advice is um, be nice. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a tough, uh, it's a tough gig out there. 